Maybe you heard about shape keys, maybe not, but if you heard about them, you may know that animators use them usually, but uh, you can implement this into your modeling workflow. It's really powerful and really comfortable because you don't have to go to edit mode every time and select all the faces that you want to change. It's just like a modifier. So just go here, value, and there you go. I always use this when I don't have a blueprint of the model. So I have only a picture of it. I have to eyeball everything. And this is a really, really cool way to, to do this. You tweak these shape keys until it looks just right. Yeah, you are welcome. Please thank me with a like. I have a base mesh and go to edit mode. As you can see, um, my faces are diagonal. This is really easy to make. Just select the faces and go to face, poke faces, and then face, triangles to quads. And if it doesn't work for you, just apply the rotation and the scale with Ctrl A. So here is this base mesh and inset the faces. If you hit I once, if you hit I twice, it does this. And this will be the base shape key, so the base key. If you add another shape key and grab the faces and change the value, as you can see, zero is the base mesh and uh, one is the key one. Let's rename it and add another shape key and scale them down. And make sure individual origins enabled so as you can see, if, you ch if I change the value, the scale is changing as well. So rename this, tweak this until it looks okay. It looks okay for me. You can use shape keys on as many selection as you want. So I use this just on those faces, but you can add another shape key and then select these faces and grab it, grab them. So you can change those faces separately. And this is really, really, really powerful. Let's make this prettier. Let's add the bevel modifier. And it looks just fine. If your model looks right and you want to apply the modifiers, Control A, and you can see modifier cannot be applied to mesh with shape keys. You have to remove those shape keys, but you want to apply them. Click here, new shape from mix. And it creates a new shape from these shape keys and it combines into one. Let's delete these shape keys and let's delete this as well. It's really important to delete them in this order, otherwise it won't work. And we applied all the shape keys and now you can apply the modifiers as well. And there you go. Delete them in this order, otherwise it won't work.